What's going on everyone? You're watching Artie Motoring and today I'm going to paint the roof of my truck. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to keep it the matte black that it is. The paint's starting to chip and it's starting to get rust spots and I really just want to take care of it before it gets any worse. Take a look at what I'm dealing with here. You can see some big spots. We got one there. We got one there. There's some uh, paint chips over here in the middle and overall it's just it's very faded. I really just should have done it when I bought the truck to be honest but it's just something I kept pushing off. You know it's kind of out of sight out of mind. I don't really look at the roof of my truck all the time but with winter coming up, I, I really just want to get it done now. Let's see how I can get down. Oh, God. All right. I can't see anything. Uh... Come on. Yes. Good stuff. Hopefully that doesn't go over my lap. That's dangerous. I think that'll be good. All right, first thing I gotta do is get these uh, water channels off. And these little things are a pain to get off. Oh, we got some up here, one there, one there, one there. Huh, it's gotta be an easier way to do this. I had to move it and get it out of the sun. It was just, it was way too hot back there. This was heating up too much. I thought it would be a decent area with the shade, but it really wasn't. So, gotta move it. Up here, get it nice and cool, then should be good to paint. All right, first I gotta wipe it down with some soap and water. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol, clean up any dirt or uh, debris that's still remaining on there, sand it down as much as I can. I'm gonna try to get that uh, rust spot completely taken care of. I actually don't even know if it's that bad of rust. Oh, almost slipped and fell. Yeah, I think it's just. Just looks like it's paint underneath there. So it might be bad. This is definitely a little rusty, but it's not getting terrible yet. Um, so just a little bit of light sanding should be able to take care of that. Now it's time to get this uh, taped up the best I can. I think I'm just going to follow this body line right here and around. As far as the front, it's going to be a little tough because I'm not going to go all the way down. I might just kind of taper it off right here or something, you know, the, like the smallest point, and obviously go all in the front here. So let's get working on that. All right, so I'm thinking about cutting it off right here. This is right about where that chrome water channel ends. So I'm hoping that it'll kind of come to a point and then just kind of won't see anything or won't notice it as much as if it was you know down lower and just this line going across who knows see how it turns out now time to get this uh plastic sheeting cut up and uh draped all down the sides back and down the front make sure there's no overspray Right, got it all taped up, back, sides, front, and other side. Now time to get to some sanding, priming, more sanding, more priming, sanding, and then paint. So for our primers, I got here some uh, Krylon Rust Tough Zinc Rich Primer. I also have uh, Krylon Sandable Primer. Now, I used to be a uh, big user of Rust-Oleum for the longest time, and then I think recently just their products started to uh, go downhill. I painted my uh, push bar up front with Rust-Oleum, and 
like you can scratch off the paint with your nail. It's really not that tough. I actually did the frame of this truck last year with Krylon and it's held up great. So I think I'm gonna have to switch over to uh, Krylon permanently. Um, I actually haven't used these two in the past, uh, but you know, we'll see how they work and we'll see how they hold up. And then to top it off, I'm using SEM Trim Black. I've actually used this multiple times in the truck. I've used it to fix some rust issues around the fender here. And I've also used it to paint this tailgate. This tailgate was actually like a blue when I bought it. And uh, this stuff is great, it really is. It, it goes on simple, it doesn't run, it dries smooth, and it creates like a really nice, even, flat, or like kind of satiny black finish. It's not like a lot of the other rattle can jobs where uh, you can see lines in the paintwork and everything. This actually, this works really well. <sighs> Time to apply the first coat of primer. Littering isn't cool. First coat of this is all done. Um, honestly, there there wasn't much in here. Uh, I got like one coat on the entire thing. So there's still a couple spots that are drying. Um, but yeah, I pretty much, I went over it once, uh, did about a 50-50 overlap, and uh, that's, that's all that was in the can. I've never used it before. I don't know if that's normal, something that should be expected, but uh, I'm just gonna let this dry. I mean, it dries pretty fast already, but obviously those dark spots are still a little wet. Um, I'm just gonna let it dry and then sand it down with some uh, like 320, nah, that might be a little too heavy. Maybe like 600, just to smooth it out a little bit because uh, there is a little bit of dried overspray. You can kind of feel some bumps here and there. So wait for that to dry and then I'll uh, do what I just told you I was gonna do. Sanded it down. Now it's time for the, uh, the sandable primer. Sun is going down. I only got about two hours or so of daylight left. Um, well, it's gonna be still a little bright out, but the sun's going down at like 7.45. So I have the, uh, the primer on waiting for that to dry. I'm going to sand it down a little bit and then get the top coat on. So I should, should probably have enough time to get that done. So I did not have enough time to get that done. I got a little impatient, I messed up, and I rushed things. Basically there was areas where the paint, uh, where it chipped up, I didn't sand it down completely smooth, um, which I kind of was trying to do anyway. I didn't have any sort of bondo. I wasn't trying to make this a perfect paint job. I was trying to make it better than it was. You know, a little smoother, take care of the paint chips, cover it up so that way it won't get affected by any, you know, water or snow that would sit on there. What I did was, is that I tried to fill in these, uh, the variations in paint level with the primer. Now this wasn't like a high build primer or anything, just standard primer. Um, I put it on too thick, thinking that it would, uh, it would dry and then, you know, it would be a little thicker. I could sand it down and then just top coat it and finish it up, but it just, it wouldn't dry. Um, I, I put way too much primer on it. The top layer dried, but underneath was just, it was just wet. So I sanded down and smoothed out the areas that did dry, and I did my best to smooth out the, uh, the paint that was still tacky, and then I put a top coat down. Now, in the future, I'm going to re-sand down that area and try to smooth it all out and either fill it in with Bondo or get like a high build primer. I just, I need to uh, redo it. It's gonna be another day. At least right now, it's better than it was. There's no bare metal showing. Uh, there's no cracks or anything that water can get into. So I don't know. I, uh, I just rushed a little too much. I made a mistake and that's how you learn from your mistakes. But if you enjoyed watching the video, I'd, uh, I'd really appreciate a like and consider subscribing for weekly videos every week. Yes, a video every week. All right, take care, everyone.